everyone this is the mortgage interest rates update for october 2020 dated 1st november 2020. if you're watching this video on youtube don't forget to subscribe all of the ad revenue that we get from these videos goes to local new zealand charities all right we have reached that part of the cycle again where the smaller lenders are starting to offer out baited interest rates we have seen 1.99 percent from heartland bank and 2.25 percent from co-op now there's a couple of key things you need to know about this 1.99 percent with heartland they don't have a heck of a lot of money to lend they are going to be very choosy about who they lend that to but if you want to go for it give them a call 2.25 percent from co-op this is specifically for people who are borrowing less than 80 percent they've got a more than 20 percent deposit and they are first home buyers now there is one exemption to that rule people getting the first home loan so if you qualify for the first home loan we'll probably look at co-op as one of the first options for you because you will get that 2.25 percent for one year now the next thing that's going to happen is the banks are going to be reviewing whether they can move to that level it's not going to happen immediately banks just don't work like that they have a lot more expenses that they need to cover their rates are going to be a little bit higher for a little bit longer but it is a great indication of where we should see the interest rates heading in the next few months so keep an eye on that we're still seeing 2.89 for four years 2.99 for five years some people are taking those just to really lock in the the low rates but 2.45 for one year we, we saw a 2.39 for 18 months over october so you're just starting to see those interest rates creep down and down now every month i do this and we're, we're saying hey we're getting lower and lower it's getting down by about 0.1 percent per month now if your mortgage was going on to floating now the question is should you wait for a couple of months and wait for a cheaper rates or should you just lock it in now if you're on floating you're paying probably one to one and a half percent more which is about 0.1 percent additional per month right so you have to be seeing that kind of rate drop per month to make it even break even my suspicion is we're not going to see 0.1 percent on average per month that would say that by the end of sort of february we're going to be at two percent happy to be proven wrong that would be awesome but are we going to see 0.1 percent we might see look 2.3 2.25 in the next month or two but you're only just covering that break even point of paying the floating in the meantime so i would think that the majority of people would benefit from just snapping up 2.45 percent now in a year's time you're going to come off and I don't know 1.8 percent maybe who knows 1.9 percent i'm not promising anything we're just we're just imagining here but i would think fix now don't hold off too long on those 3.9 percent floating rates you're kind of just breaking even for the two and three year rate nothing much happening there they're still sticking up just above the one year 2.55 2.6 2.65 sometimes that is where the difference is between the banks some are around 2.55 some are 2.65 but in all most banks are offering 2.4 something for one year keep an eye on all the smaller lenders they put pressure on the main banks only in the way that all of the bank's customers turn up to their branches and ask them to match it which they generally don't but keep an eye on them the more of them that pop up with these special rates is 2.25 the faster they're going to pull those main banks down thanks for watching don't forget to hit subscribe talk to you next month about interest rates